G'day guys, we're up here in beautiful Santa Barbara and we're reviewing the unique Typhoon H. So, we've had this for about a week now, longer than anybody else. We've been flying it, testing all the modes, getting really familiar with it. So, let's talk about the camera right now. It's 4K, it is true 4K, it's over 4,000 pixels across, which is great. So, there's other cameras out there that aren't quite 4K, they say they are, but they're, they're just under that 4,000 pixels. Camera is a 12 megapixel camera for you photographers out there. It's gonna take a great shot. The thing I love about this camera compared to other drones and, and more expensive ones out there, it's, it's got a 360 degree axis that's uninterrupted. So it just keeps spinning. So just to show you just quickly now, I've just turned this into the gimbal mode and I've just can adjust this knob here on the controller and it just keeps spinning. So as you can see, that just went around and it didn't get stopped by anything. So like other drones out there, like the Inspire, I've been out on shoots and dual operator, you're going for a nice shot and then you, you hit that section where it stops. So this thing just keeps spinning and in e either direction too. So it's not limited by left or right. It goes both ways continuously and you can adjust the speed on that. So. That is a really great feature and that's what we've been finding is really amazing on some of these modes. Let's move on up to the quality of build and the booms. It's got six booms, so it's a hexacopter frame. My first drone was a hexacopter, so I really like hexacopters and how they fly and handle. The, the carbon fiber here, the wall feels really thick. You know, I, I've seen other ones out there previous drones that I've had and the wall you can just feel it's quite it's quite thin and I've had crashes this feels like a really thick wall so really quality carbon fiber tops plastic so you know that's pretty standard these days the the props props are quick release now much needed the the Q500 didn't have quick release props before so great that Unique are listening to what everybody want and that's quick release props. They should be standard on all drones now just to make our life easier. So the battery at the back here, I won't take that out. It's a 5400 milliamp hour battery. It says on the website 25 minutes flight time. We've flown it a few times now. We've got between 17 and 19 minutes flight time and that's flying pretty aggressively and you know, an average flight, that's your average flight time. So going out and actually using it. Obviously, when they're testing these flight times, they're in optimized flight flying conditions. No wind, probably in a room, in a lab somewhere, and they're pushing it to the very max. So you're not gonna get 25 minutes flight time. You're gonna get probably around 18, 19 minutes flight time at most with normal flying. If you're just hovering, yeah, you're gonna get some more flight time, but who hovers? I don't hover. I fly the drone. So that's the flight time. The new ST16 controller, I really love that it's fully integrated. You don't need to buy a monitor. You don't need to use your phone. You don't need an app. The, everything's built in here. It's got the Intel inside it, the processing power. This is like a computer. It's very, very high tech. So having a fully integrated controller, you, know, you don't have to worry about forgetting your cables or a phone or something else not being charged it's fully integrated so I really really like that um, it's got lots of lots of controls here at the top we've got a HDMI out so you could set up a uh, you know, wireless transmitter like a Connex to an external monitor for a DP so they're, they're, they're really thinking about you know the cinematographers out there and not just the hobbyists this is a really good quality camera we've seen the footage from it and it's awesome your controls are up here very intuitive you've got your arm um, your smart mode agile mode and then you've got a home mode so we tested that before we got a vibration from when the battery was getting low we just hit the home mode and it just started coming home straight away it works so that's great it also on the screen here in your integrated monitor tells you where home is with an arrow so if you ever do lose your orientation and you're a little bit off you can always just hit this control here gets your camera back to boom one and just hit the home button and it'll come home. Another thing I love about the Typhoon H is the wizard. It comes with it for free, so 
We've used this thing before and it is absolutely unreal. Once you sort of power it on, take control here in T mode, you can take off, land with it, point to fly, adjust your, you know, if you hold it flat, that, that adjusts your direction. If you hold it vertically, that's your altitude. Very, very simple and easy to use. It's got GPS in it. Love the wizard. I want to show you guys a mode, it's called the CCC, which is Curve Cable Cam Mode. Got this beautiful shot over here, flying along the trees. I set four waypoints, one, two, three, and then four out past the pier. And once I set those points up and just hit start, it's really user-friendly here on the screen. Set those four points up. I then flicked this mode down, took control of the camera, and then I was in control of the camera while the drone was just flying to those points. And then I adjusted the altitude on the last one for this sort of reveal of the pier while I was sort of doing a nice pan with the camera. So you can get some really nice dynamic shots in that CCC mode. That's my favorite mode so far. It's got all the others, point of interest, orbit me, the journey, which is like a flyaway selfie. We've all seen those before, but curved cable cam, you can set multiple waypoints. It's really my favorite, my favorite feature. Not only does it do it once, so it'll fly that position, you can just hit back and then it will fly back in that same position and just follow the same path. So that is my favorite feature in all the, the you know, the modes there. So we're gonna show you that footage right now. Let's do a curved cable cam. Let's get this baby in the air. Woo! gonna bring it back in so before we land this thing let's test the front sensors and check that they work we're gonna test them on Hugo he's trusting us that they are gonna work and as we come in on Hugo the front LEDs are going off which means it's working and they won't let us go any more forward towards him so that's a fantastic feature let's bring it in and land it So guys, that's it. Let's just sort of recap what we've gone over in the review. I'm gonna go over the pros and then the cons just to keep it real with you guys. The pros, 4K camera, it's great. It's The footage is awesome, I've seen it. 12 megapixel camera, great. Uh, my favorite thing is the 360 uninterrupted axis. Unreal, it just keeps going left, right. That's, that's one of my favorite things. That's allowing you to get all these really crazy shots that you usually needed two operators for. So I love that camera. I love a hexacopter. It's so great to see something new. A hexacopter frame, it's not just another quadcopter. Apparently there's redundancy too, so if a motor does go, it has the ability to fly on five. Obviously, we haven't tested that yet, but we'll take their word for it. That's great. Quick release props, awesome. Quick release booms for transport, so that's great. The controller, integrated, having the screen there, there's no cables, no extra cost of an iPad or anything like that. I've definitely had an iPad come out before and crack, 400 bucks, gone. So having this fully integrated and nice and tight is nice. The controls, very intuitive, lots of options there. The wizard, this thing is unreal, I've already talked about it. Haven't seen anything like that before. I'm in love with it. Gonna use it surfing, mountain bike riding all the time. Love the wizard. So, and the landing gear, the, the, the raised landing gear, so you've got no, no interruption of legs getting in your shots. That's cool. And you're in control of that at all times as well. So that's awesome. Love the raised landing gear. So those were the pros, guys. To keep it real with you, we'll, we'll name a few cons that we've noticed after flying for the last week. 
Uh, some people will complain about the startup time being a little bit longer. The best time we got was one minute. It was sort of average around a minute, a minute 20 in between that mark. So startup does take a little bit longer. We did a range test. We got it out to about 3,000 feet in distance away from us. That's about one kilometer. Um, it's advertised at 1.6, I believe. Uh, that, that's probably in ideal conditions. We, we had it pretty ideal, no obstructions. Um, and we started to get a little bit of lag on the screen. So we got up to 3,000 feet and we had a little bit of yeah, lag there. So that's the distance that we've tested. The controls, they are gonna take a little while to get used to. It's, it's a bit wider set up. It is tight with your visor here, so if you do find the visors annoying you, get rid of the visor and you know put a towel over your head and just sort of get in the zone there. I, I do like doing that, especially at a, at a beach. The visor's not gonna stop all the glare anyway, but that people might not like that, being a, a little bit tight with the visor on. The battery, it doesn't show the LEDs like DJI, so you know that could be a con as well not being able to just press your battery and just check its voltage. You kind of have to sort of remember if, if you ran it dead or not, or plug it in and check the voltage on your screen. So that's definitely a con, but um, something that could be added, you know, to the next line of batteries. It's, it's not the be all and end all, but that, that's probably considered a con as well. So that's about it, guys, to be, to be brutally honest with you. $1,300 for a hexacopter landing you know, raised landing gear, 360, all these features that we've talked about. It's just, it's unbelievable. The, the curved cable cam is dead set my favorite feature and that that 360 degree axis camera that just keeps spinning. It's, yeah, when I first got into this a few years ago, to picture something like this on the market for $1,300, I think my hexacopter at the time cost about $18,000. So it's really, truly amazing where we've come in three years, what you can get for $1,300. This thing is absolutely unreal. So that's our review of the unique Typhoon H. It's awesome, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Big thanks to Hugo over there on the camera from Synexa for filming and coming up to Santa Barbara and doing this. Thanks to Innovative for hooking us up with this awesome cart to review off. We've, we love it so much, we've ordered our own, so we're stoked to get one of those very shortly. Thanks to Unique for sending us the Typhoon out so soon. We've had it for the longest, got to know it very well. So that's it guys, thanks for tuning in. Be sure to give us a like, a comment, and subscribe to Drone Gear. Thanks again guys, you guys rock. Yoop.